Hello, and welcome to assignment 6. The objective of assignment 6 is to use the ADC with the built-in PGA to amplify a signal. But first, we need to create the reduced signal by creating a voltage divider with two resistors. So the first thing you need to do is connect a 100 kilo ohm resistor to the explain pro expansion heading. Second thing you need to do is to connect a 33 kilo ohm resistor from the A in 2 to ground. This will then create a voltage divider where the new input voltage is no longer from the third slot click slot but it's connected to the second click slot. So first let's make an example where we don't use the PGA to show that we have reduced the strength of the signal. So to showcase the situation where we don't use the PGA I will use the assignment project as this is configured to sample the right input pin without using the PGA. If you see in the init it is the standard init that we've been using for throughout this assignment. We are in burst mode we are on triggering on events from the RTC. We are now sampling on AN6 instead of AN5 to reflect that we are sampling from the voltage divider instead of directly from the click. And everything else is more or less what you're used to. So let's debug this. Let's go to the data visualizer. And as normal, we load a workspace. This time it's assignment 6. Set up the UART. And then set up the encoder. Now we can see some data and if we press the button now we will see that it only reaches to about 1k. So normally in a 12-bit ADC when you reach the reference voltage as I do when I press the button completely we should have reached a bit more than 4k but now all we do is we reach 1k because we have divided down the voltage by 4 through our voltage divider. So let's see how we can use the PGA to amplify the signal again back up to what it was. So now I'm in the solution folder where we have added the PGA. So the main difference between this and the previous example is that we have added this which configures the PGA. Um, here we can see what we're doing. We are setting a gain of times 4. We are setting a bias current. To figure out which bias current you should use, you should look in the table in the datasheet which tells you which bias current you need based on what clock frequency you're running the ADC on. The lower the bias current, the less energy is consumed by the built-in PGA. Then you have the PGA sample duration, which is how long the ADC will sample the PGA result. So this is a important difference. So now the sampler represents how long the PGA will sample the signal, and the ADC PGA sampler represents how long the ADC will sample the output from the PGA. And at the end, of course, we enable the PGA. In addition to these changes, we have now made a change to the MOX POS, by adding this, we make sure that a signal into the positive input of the ADC goes through the PGA and becomes amplified. So let's flash this and see how it affects the output. So if you now look in the data visualizer and I start pressing the button, we will once again see that we are able to reach back up to 4K because we have amplified the signal back through the PGA. That's it for assignment 6. Thanks for tuning in.